What is going on today, guys? We got uh, another install. Well, install. It's kind of not an install. It's like an oil change, but I guess you can count uh, changing oil as an install. Anyways, got to remove both of the cars in the garage before my buddy gets here and uh, going to pull his Miata in and we're going to go ahead and do a little oil change on it today. It's been a little while since he's done it. I heard him start his car the other day and I was like... Uh, dude, have you changed your oil in a while? He's like, uh, no, and I was like, yeah, dude, we're gonna do that this weekend. So uh, he bought some oil and he's headed over and we're gonna go ahead and flush, refill, and hopefully rejuvenize the car. So just gonna wait on him, move these two cars, and let's get at it. Here it comes. Right on time. Like always. Oh yeah. Alright. Gotta show you what you got. We got some mobile yeah. extended performance oil. We're gonna use some 5W30. Yes, sir. And a uh, Fram full synthetic filter. Yes, and, uh, sir. Wait for the car to cool off. Oh, well, she's synthetic. My bad. <laughs> wait for the car to cool <laughs> off a little bit and uh, go ahead and start the change. Oh yeah, also don't mind the top, it's just being used so we don't have to use the soft top while it rains here. Yeah, <coughs> winter time, you know Yeah, it is. Winter, winter top, we didn't even want to get it painted because it was less expensive, you know. Alright, we got the car all jacked up, gotta remove the uh, under shielding and then we'll start draining the oil. We got our uh, dude down here is doing his own oil change right now. Got the single 19 right there and uh, we're See? just gonna pop it loose and drain all the oil into the pan. So, uh... Let's see, is it on loosen right now? What? I don't remember if I put it on. I think it's on loosen. If you're pushing towards the top of the car, it should be on loosen. If I'm pushing towards the bottom, then what? It's on tighten, so you have to flip that switch. There you go. Now it's on loosen. All right. So all I do is just loosen it, Brett. Right? Oh, uh, yep. That's it. It's, might be a little difficult. Normally they are. I can like pull myself towards it. Hold it. You kind of have to grab something and just pull really hard. I know. I can't I grab can... anything. <sighs> What can I grab? Like the ground? Just pull super hard. I'm trying it. <laughs> I'm like scooting, dude. I don't weigh enough for this. Alright, got round two. Got him a little bigger wrench. I hope it fits back there. I mean, I haven't even... I don't even know. Oh, dude. <laughs> wait, we can just totally loosen. wait. Let's oh, see. dude, this barely does. I think it's on Titan. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. It barely does. Oh, oh yeah, there it, it is. All right, now we can just spin it off with our finger here. Oh, you can take that off, or don't do it yet. Um, I can get you gloves if you want to not get oil over so. Yeah, that might be a spin. All right, let's grab some gloves. Oh, it was way easy. I, I definitely loosened it up a lot. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Here you go, dude. Just, you just need a single glove right there. It's pretty thick, so uh, have fun getting it on. Yeah. Thick. Oh, yeah. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we got everything loosened on the pan. Oh yeah, we almost forgot to open this thing. That could've been bad. I was gonna mention that, but I mean, Almost I, forgot. I thought you knew what you were doing, so. Oh, yeah. So now just get down there and uh, you don't need the wrench, you can just spin the bolt off with your fingers. Oh, I was just gonna use the bit, but. Oh, I can s already see the oil. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. Here we go. Oh. It's all hot and warm. Oh yeah. As soon as it comes off, just grab the bolt and then uh, you can let the rest drain into the thing. All right. Very good, there it is. Thank God for gloves, huh? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That beautiful, super dark stream. Oh. Does it smell great? I don't know. <laughs> no, it definitely doesn't. All right, there's the man himself. The man, the myth, the legend. So we're taking off the uh, little plastic tray down here. As you can see, Noah doing because uh, turns out the oil filter, it's at a place where it sucks to get to. You can't really see it that well, but it's down, way the heck down there. You can kind of see it a little bit like right there. Right there. So, if we take it off like that, and then we gotta take off the drain thing, the, the pan, so then it doesn't get everywhere, the oil. So yeah, that's what, that's what we're doing now. Wish us luck.
We're about to drop the, uh, drop the cover. There we go. Oh, probably can't see what we're doing on the camera just because of the way that this thing works, but here we go. I'm pulling it out this way. And there it is. There's the under cover of a Miata. It's a little dirty, actually. We'll probably clean that, but we don't have to. All right, now let's get that filter off. All right, so there's no ease cleaning up the place for the filter because we just got it out. Can't really see much, but there it is. There she is. Ain't she dirty? All empty and stuff. We got the new filter right here, and uh, we'll be putting that in shortly. Heck yeah, dude. Let's do it. There we go. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I hear it. He's got it. He's spinning it on there. Should have gotten a light before I recorded this clip, to be honest. Oh, yeah. There we go, now tighten it, pretty tight, like as hand tight as you can get it. And once you can't hand tighten it anymore, then you're good. So uh, this is the filter contraption we were using when I went to put the gear oil in my Jetta over funnel there. And uh, yeah, the funnel contraption thing. Yeah. I had another funnel, but I tried to make another contraption. My other funnel that was supposed to be for oil, and I like broke it, so I had to throw it away. So I thought we could use this, but it's like super slow and taking forever and spilling everywhere. Uh, not out of the hose, but just like because we have to go so slow out of the oil thing. So as a last resort, we're gonna use a water bottle. <laughs> Wait. Ah! We'll get a paper towel. Tripping. Jeez. Yeah. So we're stuck with the water bottle now. Oh yeah. Oh, fill her up. Look how clear that is. Yeah, how much? We got another quart. Quart to go. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. All right, we got the uh, car all full. Just gonna go over everything, and uh, my dude's gonna get in his car. And we're gonna give it a quick start up, Can I just check do it? for leaks. Yep, just give it a start up, leave it in neutral, and we'll let it run for a minute or two. There we go. All right, guys, we got uh, the oil changed. Looks like the oh, well, not looks like the Miata is on the ground now, and we're gonna give it a start, and uh, hope all is well. All right, guys. So we were sitting here. We got the Miata all set up. The, it's running great. Um, we, you know, made sure all the oil was good. And now we're deciding last minute, kind of ish, to wash it because it's like pretty dirty. I don't know if you can really see it that well, but there's dirt and stuff all over it. And uh, it needs to be waxed as well. So we're breaking out the pressure washer. <sighs> it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good time. It's pretty small, so it won't take that long. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's wash it. Here you go, sir. All right, well, looking back, probably should have recorded this, but we got the uh, pressure washer all hooked up, the car's all soaked up, sudsed up. Now uh, now uh, we just uh, scrub it down. Let's scrub it up, dub. Right, guys well the uh, the camera died in the middle of our time lapse while we were washing the car so uh, I'm on my phone now we uh, just dried off the car super shiny looks really good you can pretty much there weren't body curves there not even tell it was a car you know he's uh, using special wipes wiping down his interior to make it look way better and uh, after that we're gonna throw a coat of wax on it make her look just like new what do you think of that man I like it dude it's been a long time I know Wheels are all clean. I need, need to do a little a bit of stuff. This is the spot right there. Stuff, but uh, we'll get her looking super nice. All right, guys. We're, so we're waxing the Miata now. It's all nice and clean. On oh my goodness. I mean, you guys can't feel the difference. But I mean, I've been driving it and owned it for almost a year now. Oh my gosh. It has never felt this. Never looked this nice. Never felt this nice. If you uh, ever wondered what products I use, I use this on all my cars. Um, Meguiar's Mirror Glaze number 26, high tech yellow wax. It's like the best stuff ever. I mean, Not a monetized video at all, not a monetized video, no, don't no, worry no, about yeah, it. I just try to <laughs> advertise the products that I use, you know, let other people know. No, no, it's good stuff, yeah, don't get, don't get this wrong, no, it's good stuff for sure. But yeah, we're just gonna finish this up and, uh, yeah. Alright, 
So we finished up the wax job. Sorry we couldn't record it. Yeah, the camera ran out of battery, but yeah, we finished it up. Uh, now we're just like cleaning the wheels off a bit. We had like some spray for them. But dude, oh my gosh, feeling the car now. Oh, it's beautiful. And it shines, well, you can't really see it that well because it's not in the sun, but it shines like a freaking beaut. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed. Leave a like and a sub if you're interested in more videos similar to this one. Uh, more car videos, because freaking Noah, you know him. All in the cars. All right guys, a little bonus footage. We're uh, taking off the uh, hard top right now. We're gonna go actually do a photo shoot since the car is so clean. All right, the hard top is officially off, and uh, we're gonna go hit up the uh, my photo hard, spot. My hard is officially on. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's hit up the spot.